what's up what's up it's been way too fucking long we're coming back to streaming we're on kick right now i'm sure you guys can all understand why i needed to take some time away from streaming but with kick coming out it's time to come back but i know streams aren't for everybody so we'll do a little catch up here i'm sure some of you guys are wondering how we go from bo2 to Oh my god, Coral smacked him! Coral smacked him! Oh my god! 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 Oh To leaving phase and being a sweaty fuck on Fortnite. Don't have any materials. I just gotta hope one of these little fuckers puts down a jump pad right down. <gasps> I got an impulse to that jump pad. <laughs> you think I can impulse to it? What's the math on this one? All right, guys. I think I know how to do this. <sighs> Send it. No way. Oh! <laughs> I don't have any mats. <gasps> oh my god! That's him. Oh my god! Dude. What?! The fuck, man?! Wait, oh my god! Where's my ramp going?! Why did I just get shit on my scoped fucking AR?! I killed dad! I killed dad! Carl, face red, I don't even give a shit. That was, he's fucking the greatest player of all time. And then we got the big fucking oopsie. This is what's commonly known as a negligent discharge of a firearm, or as we call it on the internet, a big fucking oopsie. Bitch, say I ain't got money. Say I ain't got money. Followed by the cherry on top. Carl and I are no longer together, and we haven't been together for almost a year now. I broke up with him May of last year, 2021. And now we're right back where we started. Where is this, SpongeBob? Rock bottom. And who's to blame for that? You already know the vibe. In this case, I got bigger in the gym fueled by pure depression. Speaking of which, therapy. It's one of the first things I started doing, and I'm really glad I did. Then I started working out, started working too, and then recently we started on this sleeve here. Ah! Oh, I've been trying to think about what you guys want to know. Like, how could I have fucked up? And hopefully you know I ask myself that every single day. And I beat myself up for it a lot more than you ever could. That's the thing about mistakes. When they're big, you regret them that much more. But the big thing about mistakes is not making them again and learning from them. And of course, accepting the consequences of said mistake. The main thing I've been trying to do is improve as a person and not be somebody who's going to do those things again. I had a really bad habit of not listening, always thinking I was right, narcissistic type behavior, not 
healthy for me or anybody around me. But my therapist said I had to go through all that shit and I had to come back here to become the better person that I am now, as unfortunate as that is. That's what I have to accept because guess what? You can't fucking do anything about the past. The only thing you can do is right now. And right now it's time to get back to streaming. Will I be posting YouTube content? I would like to. The YouTube algorithm's a weird thing though. Because of the algorithm, you have to post specific things, specific thumbnails. You know, you gotta be very specific with what you do on YouTube and then you could put in all this hard work and it could get demonetized right streaming you just start the stream have a good time I love that that's what always attracted me to streaming you eliminate the stress and still generate revenue it's kind of a no fucking brainer so would I like the stream to do well yeah streaming on twitch was amazing before I executed my channel I actually had a 70 30 split which was unheard of. You literally can't get those. I fucking shot it. Is there more I would like to talk about? Yeah. So if you've got questions for me, come and ask them. But I will probably not be looking at the YouTube comment section and we all know why. If I don't look at it, I'm safe. I am starting to realize that no matter how many times I record this video, it's never gonna be just right. I wanna give a big thank you to everybody who checked up on me. I want to give a big thank you to everyone who just gave me my space. Anyone who was hoping I would come back, I appreciate that. And anyone who supports the comeback, you a real one. And you know that. I'm trying to be more active with my community this time. And I'm really trying to be somebody that y'all can be proud of. And I feel like I'm getting there, which is a good thought to have. So yeah, I'm going to be live all fucking day on 420. It'll be live Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. So I would love to see you guys there. Honestly, nothing would make me happier than just having you guys in the stream. The goal for that first stream is 100 subs. It's a big goal. If we hit 1,000, I'll let off another desk pop. <laughs> Oh, uh, 10,000, maybe. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys there. 